name's Roy Schofield. I'm Managing Director of Maldives Quality Seafood. We're situated in the Kafu Atoll, which is near to Mali in Maldives, in the Indian Ocean. We came here in 2008. Before this, I'd been in many countries where there wasn't much about sustainability at all. What makes a fishery sustainable is the management system in whatever country you're working in, such as the Maldives. They have a very good management system. Major supermarkets, they're looking for a very sustainable product and there aren't many countries in the world that can claim to be a sustainably fished country. The only way that you can get a sustainably fished product nowadays is by hand line. This type of fishing, these boats can't stop. They have to keep chasing the dolphin. You can see the dolphin are moving, the tuna are with them. And that's what we've done. We've come in front of the pod here, yeah? A hand line fishing is basically one man, one line, one hook. When the fish is caught, of course it struggles. So we have to get the fish on board as quickly as possible, and it is hard. So we get the fish on board and we stun the fish by a blow to the head. This way is the most humane way to kill the fish. We then immediately pierce the central artery and at the tail so that we can start bleeding the fish. It's very important to bleed the fish because the blood is very hot. The whole point is to get everything that carries heat out of that fish. After this process is done, the fish is washed and then it's put into the ice slurry immediately. You can't get faster than that. The reason we're asking them to ice the fish as quickly as possible is not just for the quality, the colour, the translucency. It's also so that there isn't too much histamine. Histamine comes from the histidine content that's in every tuna. The histidine content of Maldives fish is anyway quite low. We do our own in-house testing. We have our own laboratory to do this. The amount of time it takes from pulling the fish out of the water, gilling, gutting, bleeding, putting into the ice slurry is literally a minute or two minutes. And this is a great factor in the fact that we have such low histamine content in our product.
there are probably another few places around the world where you could get hand line core tuna. But I know the traceability system there is not to be trusted. When the boat arrives to the port, we grade it using a core tester. We check color and freshness, the translucency of the meat. We also check the bloodline because that's another indicator as to how old the fish is. You can see from the bloodline the freshness of the fish. It's a beautiful fish, yeah. The type of customers we have demand that we guarantee them by our traceability that they're receiving a product that is 100% sustainably fished. We need to know the fishing area where the fish has been caught. We need to have vessels who are fishing who are filling out a daily log. When the boats come to our factory, we tag them with a colored numbered tag. Color represents each different vessel and the tag is actually the number that we use to identify that fish with. That tag follows the fish throughout the whole processing system so that whether we end up with four loins from that fish or whether we end up with 12 chunks or steaks, each minute piece that we take from that fish will be traceable back to the fishing ground and which boat it was caught on. Where we've arrived now is at a stage where you have fish number 34 has been selected for blue seas. And the six means that this is the sixth piece that's come from the loins of that fish. This tag has followed this fish all the way through the cutting process. The A-grade product that we are sending to Blue Circle can be used for cooking or they can use it for sashimi. It's the highest quality fish. You can't call a net caught fish a sustainably caught fish because of all the bycatch and the juveniles. It's indiscriminate. They may be, they may be targeting larger yellowfin tuna, but actually in that net, they're catching everything, including dolphins, so it's very unsustainable. When we started this search around the world to find a place where we could find sustainably fish tuna, Maldives was already there. <laughs> 